Welcome back. Table 926 is here. Mark Richmond is the owner and executive chef and cooking up something tasty for us. How are you? Good morning. How are you? Good. Very nice. So tell everybody about your restaurant and you're featured in this month's issue of San Diego Home yes. Garden Lifestyles Magazine. But talk about the cuisine a little bit yeah, for sure. Mark. It's, we basically uh, are a uh, farm to table restaurant, especially in very seasonal uh, cuisine. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, that is our roasted beet salad with... Uh, Arugula and orange. Ooh, and, that looks delightful. Uh, you know, that's a really popular seller. We get most mm -hmm. of our produce from local uh, farms, mostly Susie's Farms. Yes. And we try to get as much uh, uh, of our fish and meat also from local farms as Just well. Just fresh from, as can be. Absolutely. It's the best new trend absolutely. in restaurants for sure. And you're located up in PB, North PB. Yeah, North PB on Turquoise fact. Street. So, what are we going to make today? Can I help you make yeah, something? Yeah, absolutely. So we're doing mm -hmm. uh, what uh, I like to think is the quintessential spring salad. We have fava beans, fresh fava beans, fresh peas, asparagus, pea vines, which are the, actually the, literally the top of the pea vines. Mm, and then we add a little bit of pancetta, which is uh, cured bacon mm -hmm. or belly. And we uh, top it off with some grana padano, which is a very similar to mm -hmm. Parmesan Reggiano. We very dress good. the salad with just really nice olive oil and mm -hmm. white cava vin, uh, white cava vinegar, which is a uh, kind of a balsamic. Well, cava is yeah. uh, the Spanish version of uh, sparkling wine. Oh, so. oh, sure. Delightful. Okay, so, let's go ahead. So, you want to get started start here? Yeah. So, absolutely. So, you know, mm -hmm. we start with some fresh fava beans that we mm -hmm. quickly blanched and peeled. It's a little bit labor intensive, but really worth it. And then we do some fresh peas, also quickly blanched. I'm gonna grab uh huh. A spoon. Go okay, ahead. Okay, so you blanch both of those. Absolutely. And as well as the, as, as well as the asparagus the too. The asparagus in there. So there's a little bit of labor involved, but it's oh, well it's, worth it. Oh, it's very little labor, really. When then you've got we all the, add uh, a the little bit of pancetta, there. which mm -hmm. you know adds some of that salt factor to it. And of course, if you're vegetarian, you do not need to add that. It's not gonna kill the dish. You're not or gonna you hurt could, my could you feelings. add a seafood to it? Could you? <laughs> sure, add absolutely. A you could do some shrimp. Okay, you could do maybe some salmon. Then we add these pea vines. So literally these are the tops of the vines of the pea, uh, pea shoots. So about... You know, whatever you okay. feel like. Okay. And then we'll dress it with some of this dressing that with mm -hmm. including the high-end vinegars and uh, olive oils. And I don't really generally add salt to this because the pancetta is mm -hmm. salty and also the grana padano is salty. But if you want, we can just add a little bit of sea salt. It's nice. And you just did a light amount of dressing, so you really Absolutely. get the taste and the you flavor. You really from the fresh want vegetables. to get the flavor of these All veggies. All right. So I let you toss. All right. The expert tosser. We toss right. together. You know, you've also brought another dish real quickly over here. Ta talk about this. Those dish are a bit. really are one of our most popular dishes. That mm -hmm. is, those are actually slow roasted pork cheeks. Yes, mm -hmm. literally the pork cheek. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we have a creamy polenta some braising greens from Susie's Farms, and then mm -hmm. we top it with a guajillo uh, tamarind glaze, which kind of gives that sweet, sour, salt flavor into it. And you've got some str some uh, beer with you here, some Stone yes. Brewery we beer, are, we because... Are, we are doing a beer dinner on mm -hmm. uh, the 11th of April, featuring uh, four beers from Stone Brewery, which of course is in en Escondido, and uh, we're very excited to uh, be promoting with them. So they can call the restaurant and get reservations for absolutely, that. Absolutely. And is it best to call ahead for reservations oh, yeah. for dinner so as well? Oh, yeah. So we've only been open <laughs> since December, but, you know, uh, we've been turning people away. So we really recommend either going to the website or open table and mm -hmm. uh, signing up that way. Now that's a sign of a great restaurant. Uh, Love yeah, to hear I like it. I to think so. So, yes. And so There's we just cheese? topped it off with some of this grana padano. Like mm -hmm. I said, it's very similar to... Delicious. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. pe uh, Reggiano, Parmesan Reggiano. Table 926, Mark Richmond, thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Great to see you. I guess I'm going to take a little tiny taste as we okay. toss to break. Absolutely. Much more ahead here on Good Morning San Diego. Mm.